सो आई हैवेंट अपलोडेड इन टू मंथ्स बट द चैनल इज इन डेड आई वॉज गेटिंग मैरिड देन आई हैड माई एग्जाम्स एंड देन सम वन लॉज डेन एफ आई आर अगेंस्ट मी बट टूडे वी हैव अ प्रोडक्ट दैट विल गिव मी द मच नीडेड कम्फर्ट आफ्टर ऑल दिस के ऑस एंड इट इज़ द स्लीप कंपनीज फिलिक्स ऑफिस चेयर इट हैज सम रियली यूनिक फीचर्स दैट आई हैवेंट सीन बिफोर एंड इट मे बी द बेस्ट चेयर दैट आई हैव यूज सो लेट्स चेक आउट वॉट मेक्स इट सो स्पेशल The Felix chair is a bit more complicated to assemble than other chairs. You get it in this compact box in which you get everything that you will need to assemble this yourself. First, you have to assemble the base by pushing the wheels in and then adding the gas lift on top along with the plastic cover around it. Then you can start assembling the seat by first putting on the armrests, then you have to install the backrest and then you can put the seat onto the gas lift on the base. Finally, you have to install the neckrest which is a bit tricky to screw in. Then you can finally give your bird the touch it needed by sitting on it. The Felix chair looks kind of minimal for a chair in this price range, but the actual functionality and comfort is really better than what you may assume by looking at its non-fancy design. Still, it does have a professional aesthetic going on that will look nice with all kinds of setups. The backrest is as shaped with a mesh that feels strong enough, and we also have lumbar support adjustment that you can adjust for height. The lumbar support is a very tricky area for office chairs to nail properly but on the Felix chair it is almost perfect. The handles to move it up and down allow you to very easily operate it while you're sitting on the chair and it stays put in its place after you adjust it. The backrest reclines backwards when you lean on your back up to 135 degrees and you can also lock it in a reclining position. In addition to this, the seat of the chair also tilts backwards with something they call a dual lever technology, but the ratio of this tilt is different from their other chairs that I have used, so it is a more subtle tilt on the seat which I actually prefer. But the super special feature in this chair that I have not seen on any other chair is that it also allows you to slide the seat front and back, and that really allows you to fine tune the comfort and how the backrest touches your back. With one of the levers you can easily push the seat along with the armrests forwards and it goes back into place if you pull it again. The length of people's thighs varies a lot so this feature will really let most people get the perfect leg support for their thighs and in addition to the height adjustment of the lumbar support you can also adjust how intensely the curve touches your lumbar region. The piece that touches your lumbar region can feel too stiff sometimes so it would have been nicer to have something softer there but because the seat has slide adjustment you can easily adjust it in a more comfortable position. The other benefits of this system include allowing you to slide it forward enough to fold one of your legs and you can also get into this slouching position which is probably not good for your back. The seat itself is decently sized and it has Sleep Company's Smart Grid technology which makes it feel supportive and soft without letting it sag. The same technology is also used in their mattresses and it really works making this seat one of the best ones that I have placed my butt on. Another great quality of this chair is that the height adjustment on it allows you to set the seat at a very low height of less than 18 inches and it also offers raising it to 22 inches which should be good enough for most people. It even goes low enough for my very low custom marble desk and this wasn't the case with their last chair that I had tested so I am very happy about this. The neckrest is similarly good because it is really wide and it has a very soft foam that supports your neck very nicely. It is integrated very well into the backrest which gives it a minimal look and it also offers height adjustment even though you will most probably not need that. The metallic base of the chair feels strong in addition to looking great and the wheels also let it roll around smoothly while you're sitting on it. The armrests on the chair are very wide. They are made of a semi soft material and they offer all kinds of adjustments with something they call 4D adjustment. You can move these forwards and backwards, can adjust their height with a button underneath. You can tilt them inwards and outwards and you can even move them left and right so you can really fine tune these. The only issue I have with the armrests is that they can move front and back a little too easily. So if you hold its armrests while moving the chair around, they can move front or back unintentionally. While you are using the chair, they do stay in their place, so it is not a big issue, but it can be a bit annoying when it happens. Do give this video a thumbs up if you've been liking it so far and you can also subscribe with bell to get updated on more awesome stuff. So the comfort on this chair has been really amazing. I am very specific about the ergonomics of the products that I use but the Felix chair has been really great for sitting for long hours and you can also easily keep adjusting it for different kinds of positions while working which is one of the most important aspects of a chair. 
Some adjustments like the sliding of the seat really make a big difference in its usability and the small but important things like the neck rest are also great on it. So overall, the Sleep Company's Felix office chair is really one of the most comfortable chairs that I have used and its design and aesthetics are also nice. The price of this chair is towards the higher end at around 23,000 rupees but you should be able to find some offers to get this at a slightly lower price. I will have links in the video description to check it out. Now at over 20,000 rupees, I do find some imperfections in it, the biggest of them being the armrests that can move unintentionally but that really doesn't affect the overall comfort and I think that with all the adjustments and flexibility that this chair offers, it can be really a worthy investment if you are looking to get something that can give you short short comfort for long hours. And that will be it for this video. Do let me know if you have any thoughts or questions about this chair in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.